Now, it's not often I make political videos, but I'm making an exception because I feel rather strongly about this. It's been announced today that a Lance Corporal in the 1st Battalion of the Parachute Regiment is going to be prosecuted for murder, two counts of murder, and other charges on incidents that happened in 1972 in Londonderry. Now, the reason I feel a bit aggrieved about this is that I had a hand in putting away some of the people on the other side, the IRA, and, and some of them got life sentences. But as a result of the Good Friday Agreement, they were released many years before the sentences were due to be completed. Uh, in addition to that, there were letters of uh, um, pardon letters issued to hundreds of uh, former terrorists who had committed crimes, or who believed to have committed crimes. There was said, it was said that there, no prosecution would take place. And here's this poor guy getting prosecuted. Now, I served as a, a private, uh, well, I, was a, I finished up as a Lance Corporal in the 1st Battalion of the Parachute Regiment, finished up in 1957, 15 years before these events. But I took part in anti-terrorism uh, operations in Cyprus and in the invasion of Suez. And I'd been shelled and shot at, though I have to confess I'd never fired a shot in anger. And all I can say about this is that, irrespective of whether this guy is guilty or not, he, he may be indeed guilty, but it's just a dreadful mistake on the part of the uh, parachute regiment. I'm sure the guy must have imagined that he was in danger, because you just, I know for a fact, you just don't open fire on civilians. I've been in, in situations where I have been stoned by civilians and you don't open fire on them, not with live rounds. So I think the whole thing should have just been put to bed. If they'd had a, a similar arrangement to that in South Africa, this situation just wouldn't have arisen. But there's, there's some, such bitterness on both sides over there that nobody can forget anything. It just goes on and on. And at the moment they haven't even got a government over there because they can't get on. So I think the whole thing should just be forgotten about and uh, my sympathies are with the poor guy who's getting charged after 47 years. My God, eh?